Good morning, drummers. Hey, let's think about this for a second. Uh, and today, I want to react to diving into something that's really special, okay? Uh, what would it be like if you could own uh, a 1968 Buddy Rich drum set? Uh, it's more than a drum kit, obviously. It's a piece of history. And as a drummer, I can't help but imagine the stories these drums could tell if they'd be able to talk. So Buddy Rich, obviously, we know, was regarded as the greatest drummer of all time. It wasn't just a phenomenal player. He also had an impeccable taste in gear. His 1968 drum set, uh, handcrafted for him by Slingerland, was a marvel of design and functionality at the time. Uh, those marine pearl finishes are absolutely timeless. And the sound, a crisp, punchy tone that still resonates uh, in, in his recordings to this day. So uh, there's an individual I found on YouTube that actually has uh, Buddy Rich's 1968 drum set. So uh, I want you to check out the craftsmanship and still the sound of it all these years later. And uh, I, must, I must say to this gentleman here that uh, anybody watching this video should probably be jealous. But uh, here's the magic of the video. Let's check it out. Okay, hi, my name is Larry Ogletree and I'm here to talk about this vintage 1968 Slingerland kit that I'm going to be using at the Paw Paw Wine Festival with the Great Kalamazoo Big Band. We're going to be doing a uh, kind of tribute to Buddy Rich since this is the anniversary of his 100th year that he would have been with us. Uh, this kit is, uh, like I said, a 1968, but he used it back in Chicago for some small group uh, things that he was doing at the time with some local Chicago musicians. Uh, I acquired it uh, from a gentleman that used to work for Drums Limited, who at the time uh, was uh, did some roadie work for Buddy. And uh, Buddy, when he got done using the kit, just gave it to him. Buddy was known to do that, uh, which uh, ticked off the drum companies he was with because uh, he'd invariably give his drums away and then the next gig they'd have to send him another kit. Uh, I, to my understanding, I understand that Ludwig, a drum company was with after Slingerland, always had two kits on hand to be able to send out in case he gave one away. So uh, uh, he was very generous that way. And uh, this kit is rare because he always used white marine pearl. So uh, it's a kit that he used, black diamond pearl, Don Osborne Sr. sent it to him. Uh, he used it in a small group setting. Like I said, the bass drum is noticeably smaller than his normal one, usually used a 24. This is a 14 by 22. And because they got it out to him so so quick, the bass drum head, that's a hand-painted logo on that bass drum head that uh, they had a, a gentleman in Chicago paint for him. Uh, the guy who had the kit uh, knew I was a Buddy Rich fan. I bought the kit back in 84. This was, uh, well, I think Buddy died in 87, so before his death. And Buddy Rich memorabilia wasn't popular back then, but Buddy was my Ringo Starr. I mean, it was the equivalent for me of Ringo Starr. I was never really influenced by Ringo, always by Buddy. I always wanted to stay up to watch him on The Tonight Show, or Merv Griffin, or Mike Douglas. He was always on that stuff. And so when I found out that this kit might be available, I talked to Felix. Uh, we negotiated a price. Uh, I didn't know what it was going to look like. Uh, he told me what it was like. He, I went to his house, showed it to me, and uh, immediately said, I got to have it. I've got all the cases as well. 
Uh, I got all the hardware. This hardware you're seeing is Ludwig hardware, but I do have all the original Slingerland stands too. Back to the story of how I acquired the drums. He showed me the kit and I immediately bought them and uh, brought them back home. It was the kit that I'd always wanted. I mean, I always wanted a, a, a Buddy Rich kit ever since I saw them in catalogs when I was just playing on the practice pad. So uh, after I got them, of course, uh, Buddy was still around. Uh, he died in 87 and someone found out, a collector found out, from the West Coast that I had these drums and the rarity of the fact that they were the only black diamond pearl kit he used. And I've got photos of him with it and everything. So uh, I was uh, offered a substantial amount of money at the time. Uh, of course, didn't want to take it because, you know, these were the drums I always wanted. So I've kept them and uh, I've only used them one other time. And this is gonna be really the second time I've ever had them out and it's uh, such a joy to play them again and get reintroduced to them and uh, have really the perfect vehicle, the Kalamazoo Big Band, to use these drums with. So if you're gonna be around September 10th, Paw Paw Wine Fest, and you wanna check these drums out and hear a great band with some great tunes, I can't guarantee you that I will do the full Buddy Rich swearing at the band and firing at the band on the break. You know, that may happen, we'll see. But uh, at any rate, please come and check them out. And I hope you've enjoyed checking out the YouTube of, or video, if it goes on to YouTube, the video of me and my Buddy Rich kid. So what do you think now? Uh, owning this kit isn't just a dream for drummers everywhere. It's a chance to really preserve history, right? Uh, imagine the pride of owning this, showing it off, and knowing that it represents one of the greatest contributions to modern music, uh, particularly jazz. So what do you think? Would owning a 1968 Buddy Rich drum set be the ultimate drumming dream, or what? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Please like, please subscribe, please hit the bell, please support the channel, okay? Uh, until next time, keep the rhythm alive, and God bless.